guys, welcome back. I'm Hypnotic, and this is Vintage Story on the Rusty Gears SMP, and it is story time. We are sitting in our cozy, soon to be chiseled lounge area with candles all around, a bowl of meat, um, right here, a bowl of meat, and books. So I thought we would read some things. Um, Welcome back, guys. I am really glad you're here. It is time that I read these books and do a little bit of work around the base. So that's what we're going to do. And I wanted to just go through these, open them all up, and then we'll read them all. Because I don't think I have any. I don't have anything. Oh, I have one letter. So we'll make sure to skip the first letter because we already have it. They're talking about their food stocks being depleted. They only have dried wolf meat and rabbit meat left. They're, they're eating leather. Their clothes, their leather belts and boots. Um, so it looks like um, they're giving their food to the laborers, um, but they're running out of options. And then three more people were taken, whatever the hell that means. And they didn't go willingly. So we're going to read the rest of these and then see what we come up with. So let's start with seven. Um, and we're just going to read them all and then we're going to we're going to open them all and then read them all. Bong, bong, bong. Okay, story time commences. Okay, quartermaster's ledger, date unknown. I had to tell Jaren's wife today. It had been gone. I had been gone from the shelters too long. We're losing them, we're losing them as quickly as we lose everything else. The poor woman was half dead when I arrived. She will not last much longer. I stayed only long enough to convey my respect. He was a good man. I would not be here this day without his aid. Nonetheless, I can do nothing for him or his kin. They are like so many of the others here. Rest well, friend. I am sorry. And these people are in dire straits. And then this is letter number three. I've stopped counting days, stopped counting time. All I know is every moment is the same dark, cold, filled with fear and uncertainty. The work is heavy. My whole body aches. Maybe it will give up first. Ugh. Okay, reflection. Looks like we have a couple of these. I am not the reflective type. I was taught from a young age that life is better treated as a task. There is work to be done. So do it and do not complain. Thinking seemed like a luxury. I still follow that creed, but I have, in my time, come to see the power of thought. Thought has lifted me out of despairing poverty. Thought has given my village the strength to survive the harsher seasons. Thought has seen my people uh, raise their voices in hope for the, la for the first time in years. I am speaking, of course, of him, my friend and companion, Jonas Falks. Our task here will be done in some few days. I wish to make record of the events that have transpired until this point. I do not know if I will, ha I will live to read this, but I cannot l leave it be. A madness compels me to write, though I am no learned master. The, this task would be better set for Jonas, but he is in no condition to complete it. I digress. Allow me to start from the beginning and forgive me my shortcomings. I stole into the Falks estate once as a young man. I had intended to bring home a few pounds of our wheat and perhaps a handful of coins. I dared not take too much. The old Lord Falks mostly ignored our village in the shadow of his fiefdom, but he was harsh stringent man who would not suffer the insult of a robbery. Nevertheless, I intended to rob him. It was here in the shade of night that I came upon him, the Lord's son, Jonas, stumbling in the dark towards the library. In truth, I presumed myself dead when he discovered me. No harm came to me, however. The boy was also seeking to avoid his father's cruelty, and in me he saw an ally. I knew the forests and paths around the land, as well as the quiet places. In time, I would show them to him. My trespassing onto the estate became a common occurrence. I would teach him about the land and the 
yeoman's life, and in return he offered me lessons in writing, art, and the natural philosophies. This arrangement continued in secrecy until the day old Falks died and I was able to walk through the front door as an honored guest. In the same manner, Jonas was welcomed and honored when he came to my village. We were fast friends, brothers. We were prepared for the coming storm. Oh man, I'm gonna cry. Okay, return. I woke up in the dark, everything dark, everything painful, every breath in agony. Waiting changed nothing. I started crawling. I couldn't keep track of how long. Weeks? Months, maybe? All the tunnels had changed, not that I could remember the wake up anymore. I'd feel my way forward, finding dead end after dead end, digging with my hands when I could, hearing other things down there with me. Dang, don't we know this stuff. Dude, you don't need to tell us. Eventually, I found my way out. Everything changed. Green again, brown and red and blue again. Life returned. I could finally look at myself. Everything still hurt. I was broken. Flesh half gone. Joints missing. No leg. I can't remember what happened after the black sick reached my head. Whoa. Confession. I led these people down here, down to the hellish depths, gave them up to darkness and starvation like lambs to the altar. And for what? This monstrous creation, I fear to recognize, I fear to recognize it as my child. The common people look upon it as though it were salvation, as though it were God itself. And they see me as the Messiah. I walk amongst their halls and shelters and I shudder at what, re what remains of humanity. They dwell in filth and hunger. Civil services have collapsed under the long, unbearable weight of the endeavor. These men and women have no means of rubbish disposal. Many of them have already been stricken by rot. If any other soul should wander through their dwellings, they would tear him apart from the ligaments in search of food. And yet, they by some power withstand their hunger when they gaze upon me. They weep for joy and offer me what meager supplies they have. Oh God, please help me. I am still your faithful servant. What did he do? Breakdown. Last one. Constant clamoring. People shouting. I'm worried. Things are quieter than before. We had almost given up. Nobody spoke. We just desperately worked on the project. But now it's almost time to wake it. And the people are excited. They're too excited. They don't know. They don't understand. I don't even understand it. What have we created? What greater doom have we wrought upon ourselves? We should all have died. Maybe we should all have just died when the rock came for us. I've begun to see things, even when I'm not gazing through the lens. Walking down the halls, looking at the prints, suddenly my vision shifts, and I'm in a world I cannot comprehend. I'm in the other world, and it is leaking into this one. I've begun to notice its effect, my creations, cherished by the people and without which this project could never succeed. They are strange to me now. There is something wrong with them, and it is the otherworldliness I have given to them. A golem was found two shifts ago with blood and mutilation spattered across its plates. The workmen, they wrote it off as an accident. But I know better. Okay, time to talk about this. What is going on? I have never really read everything, so if you guys could give me any hints, I'd love to know what you guys think is going on. Let me know what you think, and then maybe I'll share what I think maybe is going on. Okay, I'm going to get us ready for our next project. I hope you guys enjoyed story time. Well, you guys, I know that I've said it before um, in my previous... Um, um, episodes, but I have been, whoa, I've been doing chores, um, while I'm, wow, geez, I wish this was, give me more charcoal. I've been doing chores and, and screen sharing my, um, screen on Discord, and this is one of the chores that I just recently did, it just the other night, I had, um, Mikey420, I had Salty, uh, Brenna, I had 
Plush, Professor Y, Tail Spinner, and Snack the Snake for a little while with me. So it was really fun to have you guys along, um, and I will, I'm announcing it, doing a at here or an at everybody on our Discord channel. Um, this is the Rusty Gears Discord channel, so if you're not already attached to the Rusty Gears Discord channel, it would be fun because I'd love to have you in while I'm doing chores and I'm telling you I'm totally being selfish about it because all these chores that I do are very lonely uh, when I'm here alone and it's really fun to get into a, a chat room and share my screen with you guys while I'm doing the chores. It makes it a lot better. I'm being very selfish about it. Super selfish. Okay, so the reason I... Look at this pit kiln. I mean, not a pit kiln. I got a temporal gear just now from a drifter that I was, that was thought he could um, have his way with me, and I taught him another thing or two. So um, we ha now have charcoal to continue the um, steel. I did. This is something else I did while I was um, doing chores. I started new steel. Um, so that's fun. I have enough charcoal to get it started again because we're at 19% right now. I do need to chisel something right here um, so the charcoal doesn't spill out anymore because I realize that it spills out. I understand. If I put one there, I can probably fill this all the way up to there. Nope. Nope. There. And then I can just shovel this up. Um, and get, oh, I gotta light that other one. What am I doing? I gotta light it. So it feels good to be back, guys. I have been playing Planet Crafter and really enjoying myself. And if you enjoy um, those kind of things, you should go over and look at my new series. I do have some things um, that are gonna be changing in my life uh, here pretty quick, and I will announce that pretty soon. It's all good stuff. And it means more time for me on the computer in general and with my YouTube channel. So that's really awesome. So these should both be going now. Let's just double check them, cool. The other thing I did on the chore day with my friends is, it's not oak, it's walnut. I did finally get the rest of some of my um, tree farm done. I have so many sticks I don't know what to do with now, guys, with the tree farm. So, we're going to put those in there, and those in there. I know Nathan has a lot of sticks, too. I think Nathan is on right now. We're going to grab that and that. Um, I know Nathan is on right now. Um, I think he's doing his Wednesday stream. But everything in here is pretty at a standstill. I do need to do, I'll probably do chores and do a bunch of iron next, but I, I have no shortage of steel. That's a pile of 64 plus another pile of 39 and then I have um, 32 more going so I have plenty of steel so what I thought I would do is work in here a little bit and start getting this open this is gonna be the atrium um, and I gotta figure out how tall it's gonna be I'm gonna take all of these out and I'm gonna chisel them just so I can have the full blocks without quarrying them. I'm going to be doing a lot of this um, for the most of this because I don't really want granite bricks. And if I want granite bricks, I can go get granite, no problem. Uh, it's, I mean, I'm living in it. So, uh, but these are all going to come out because this is going to be the floor level. But obviously, this the granite is not going to stay the floor. Um, and I don't know how far I am going to go that way, but right now I'm going to concentrate on going uh, this way. So, uh, me and my chisel are going to get friendly here, and we're going to just get some of this stuff out, and I'm just going to stay with you guys as I do it, because I missed everybody. Um, i got to figure out how far I can go over. I think I might stop just like this. Don't know why those are out right there, but I can plug that up. This would be another good place for paintings and art and all of that. So um, I do, um, I have done some progress on the inn and tavern as well. 
I am going to check in with that later with you guys and show you what I've done, but not right now. I want to get some more done before I actually commit to showing you. Because, you know, I, I mean, you guys are probably getting to know me. I, um, okay, so here's the backside. I like my, I change my mind a lot. I get an idea and then I get another idea and I decide to change my mind. Um, well, screw you then. You could just stay down there. Okay, so this is going to be, we're going to not work on the ceiling right now. But I am literally going to take all these out. I'm just going to chisel them so they're chiseled blocks. And that way, I don't need any more granite little stones. I'm just so annoyed by those. Um, and this stacks better. And then I could eventually chisel with these if I want to. This is not my preferred method. Oh. I'm wondering... Oh, you... Get away, get away. Pickaxe. I'm going to pickaxe you. You know, maybe I should quarry the rest of this. You know, I probably should. I probably should. Let's just do it. That way I have... Okay, so let's... That way I have some to say that I did it. I really should. Okay, so let's take this... Take these out. Like this. Let's just quarry this. Okay, there's my stairs. So that's going to be as far as I can go here. Um, I may... I may figure out a way around that. I don't know yet. But we're going to take this layer out. You know, this layer is the layer that I could chisel so I don't end up with stupid stones. So if you go every two, and then I'll chisel these. I wonder what Nathan's working on. see how far we get here so how are you guys let me know how you guys are doing what's new how are your vintage story games going you can tell me in the comments or in the discord I love to hear your stories I love to hear your vintage story adventures uh, by the way we need to go on an adventure here pretty soon I'm getting a little bored hanging out around the house I know that uh, Andy and Jay and um, Shino all went on an adventure the other day. I saw Shino has a um, episode out about it. They did invite me to come, but they were going on a day that I was going to be at work, so I wasn't able to go. Let's see, can I get back up? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Oh, that was three. Oh, damn it. Oh, frustrating. Okay. Mmm, that really stinks. I just did three of them instead. Three lines. You probably were looking at that going hippie, hippie, hippie. Yep. Well, that's, um... This one's a little broken. Okay, well... Screw it. I'm tired of trying to figure this out. This is why I, I, why I wasn't going to even bother because I was just wanting to get it done and I talked myself into... Don't know why. Don't know why I did that. I'm thinking this is going to be like a quarter dome is what I would like it to work out to be. Um, we got to get the dirt out too though. That dirt's gonna have to come out too, because it's gotta look good from the uh, from the outside as well. Okay, now now that we got our shit together, um, we need this one to come out and this one to come out, right? Watch me screw all this up. And of course the top ones are going to have to be chiseled out because I don't know how tall I'm going to go. Okay, let's go over here. Come 
Monsters, monsters. Okay. And then, um, we're gonna have to figure this out. Don't exactly know how this is gonna work. I'm wondering if maybe we could just make this a picture window, and then we could look through... Oh, you're gonna get my pickaxe too, you little monster. See? Pickaxe. Pickaxe you to death. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that we could probably um, make this a window. We could probably go back one more, is what I'm thinking. Um, except I'm a little concerned about how this is going to work out. Uh, I don't know. Don't know, don't know. Okay, these... Why is that one still there? Oh, because it's chiseled. <laughs> it's just hanging there. Okay, let's get these out. And then... Maybe I'll just make this glass. Like a dome of glass. That's going to have to be like one of those customized things that's going to ha just have to happen. But we're going to take out all of these. And then I probably... I might have to actually go up to the top to, to see how how much um, I need to take out from the top. Because um, I think I want to take out the entire mountain. This entire side of the mountain. Let's see if we can s not screw up this next row. One, two, we're going to go right here. I'm going to leave that copper. Yeah, I'm thinking that I'm going to need to go up. I'm going to take all that dirt out. I'm definitely going to have to go up to the top um, to get um, Okay, that one is already chiseled. Oh, we're not chiseling this hip. We're not chiseling it. Okay, um, so that one's going to come out, and then this one. I really do wish they, there was an easier way to get whole blocks. That is, uh, that does uh, annoy me a little bit. the chisel back out. We're getting some whole blocks that aren't chiseled. Um, I don't care about that. This is going to be weird. You know what? Maybe I should just take this all the way back. I think that's a good idea. Let's just do that. Let's take this all the way back. There comes another little creeper. He's like, how do I get to you? And we can incorporate this into this floor somehow. I think that's a good idea. I can figure it out. I could figure it out. Okay, we're not going to do anything in the roof yet. Um, this is going to come out. And all this dirt is going to come out. Don't want any dirt. No dirt. Get away, dirt. Okay. Excellent. Okay. We're getting close. This is almost completely open now. Then, let's go ahead and just... I should have chiseled those. I'm being lazy, because I'm looking forward to this. Getting creative. Those are already chiseled. Ugh. Okay. 
Okay. Then, when, you know, the other thing I should do is I should go start some um, olivine in some fire... Uh, bloomery, fiery, bl bloomery things. Okay, there's some blocks down there that I don't really care about. Okay. It's not as big as I really thought it might be. I guess the one thing I could do is build it out so it's like a perfect half circle. I mean, quarter circle. I would have to do some math, but I think that I could probably handle that. Um, if I did... Let's plug this back up, because this does need to stay solid. But if, say, if I... And I could come back one more. So this log is kind of sticking out. That would be cool. Let's do that. Let's come back one more. So this log is kind of part of the structure. And that would leave less to go through for a window to get to the hallway. Looks like some of them are already chiseled. And then... Uh, we'll build a little window, a couple windows. We don't want any kind of serious windows because, you know what, I need a box. There's a box. Look at how prepared I am. Um, I'll show you what I mean here as soon as I stop babbling. Let's put that up there and then we're gonna get rid of this row. I hope you guys don't mind me just keeping you here and doing this basic stuff. I don't... I've been skipping a lot of this basic stuff lately, and this basic stuff can be super fun sometimes. We're gonna have to block this up from, off from monsters, because I don't have it lit yet. Ooh, we have a storm. Almost done. Yeah, I think this is better. Yeah, 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 I like that. Okay, and then let's take these out too. Gather those up. Gather all this up. Where are those monsters that I hear? Oh. I don't, oh, there's one. Let's get the axe out for hit this dude. Okay, so what I was talking about with the windows is now we only, we have three. Oh, this one's chiseled. So we have three. If we were to go, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight. We have eight before it opens up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ha. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, we could open it up. Like one, two, three, four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would leave two on that side and two on that side. And then go all the way through. And I could chisel this and make this a pretty little window. I think that's a cool idea. Can make it like this really cool window and you know what I could do oh my god you guys any place I can put candles I'm super excited about so I could put glass in the middle one and then candles all around the rest of it make it romantic and pretty because this is the oasis so that's a really nice window and it's even even Steven okay we'll chisel the edge we'll make a pretty like windowsill and put glass in there. Maybe put some flowers on the edges. Okay. So now let's do some figuring here. 
if this if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's go to there. Then this. Let's measure this out. Let's. We got to make this. It's got to be like. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Because I'm thinking about a semicircle, so I want it to kind of go start like that, you know? This will be the side of the semicircle. And if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, then this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Holy crap! Look at how that worked out! Okay, and then we'd have to figure out the circle. I'd have to go into a circle maker, like a, like I want this to be, you know, a semicircle. Then I think I want it. Okay, can we jump down without hurting ourselves too bad? Yeah. Then I want it to be. I think I want the whole mountain cut out. Let's go up here and look at it from over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I want the whole mountain cut out. That whole corner, everything needs to come out like a dome, like a quarter dome. Dang, that's a lot of work. I think what we'd need to do, oy, oy, oy. Look at all those blocks. I should go try to pick up those blocks. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a break. Um, literally a break in real life um because i i uh bio break and then i'm going to come back and we will continue with this project um also i need to think about it a tiny bit um i can i get up there i really want to get up there and get those blocks because i don't like seeing them sit there i can get i can always get this dirt off later okay perfect Um, what do you guys think? I think that this is, this is a cool project and I want to bring the outside in is basically my idea with like, this will be like an inside greenhouse atrium kind of deal and it will be very pretty. And what down here and along here, I can also plant like flowers and plants and stuff, but the focus is really going to be less on the view and more on what's inside because there'll be bamboo and flowers and carvings and paintings and things like that. Okay, catch you in a minute. So, yes, you have the Resonance Archive. I have, or you have the uh, Echo Chamber. I have the Resonance Archives. This is true, and I would love to buy some from you. If you, ha if you had some, you'd be willing to let go. Well, you know, I was wanting to find an echo chamber myself, and I just can't ever seem to do it. So, you know, I think if you're going to be making a tavern, this feels like it would be right for you to have these. Right. So what do, what do you say we go and have a listen? And, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, that is some fancy chiseling. What is, oh, the table? Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, so you have the Quirky Tavern. Well, yep. I have the Cultured Tavern. Ooh. <laughs> nice. I like that. <laughs> kind of an interesting vibe to it. Yep, yep. That's a good one. All right. Well, let's try uh, Hallowcraft. And I actually know this song because I use it as background music on my videos. I had to turn it up to hear it. Yeah, it starts out pretty quiet. Yeah. Okay. I can hear it now. It's probably way too loud now. Oh, yeah. This is very familiar. <laughs> Here yeah, in a good. second, it, it actually changes. But then I also have Scurvy. Vintage Story. So 
we also have Vintage Story. Maybe? Ah, there it's it's starting to go. Oh, yeah. And this one's very pretty. Yeah, it's a very nice little tune. Oh, I like this one. So I think I'm going to have to turn that sound down because otherwise... Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, geez. Really loud. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's that's absolutely insanely loud. <laughs> I, I, I can't turn it down. Oh, God, that's funny. Uh, oh, dear okay, Lord. So, how, you, so you have four you of them. Are you down? willing to let go of all of them? Well, I have three. You have the fourth. Oh, okay. That's right. So what would these be worth to you? I mean, I have steel. If you want a few uh, steel ingots, I I would be willing to give you some steel ingots. I'm, I might be willing to part with them for a bit of steel. Um, How many do what, you think is would, fair? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. I, I'm thinking maybe... I don't know. They, they're they're pretty rare. I will say that uh, maybe three ingots per per disc. Ooh, Do you think that would be good? That's kind of steep. Um, but I know that I am not going to be able to find these. Um, yeah, I could do. Uh, so that's nine. Yep, I could do that. Yeah. I could do um, that. Do you happen to have somewhere to put them? Yeah, because right I right up in the I, basket, right up there. Isn't there like a uh, holder for these or something? I don't think so. Is there? I don't know. I just I just have a basket up there that I have the other one in. Um... I thought that there was, but uh, maybe there isn't. Resonance. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Nope. Nope. Um, nope, I just I just have that basket there, uh, right above it. Oh, Which... that should work. Yeah. And then uh have some nice groovy tunes for yeah. whenever whenever we're over here having a drink and perfect. Okay. What... Follow me down to the steel and I will get okay. you some steel. Ooh, I hear uh I hear badness. Do you? Yep, I hear. I see them. They're down here in my. Oh, yeah. I think you hit me. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wow. That that's quite a bit. There you go. Well, that'll be enough for me to make three pickaxes, if that's how I want to go about it. That'll be enough for you to make nine pickaxes. Not, oh, not nine, yes. What am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Here, I, have I, a have a piece of flax fiber. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> well, um, I have an inventory full of stones because I'm in the middle of doing my prank on everybody. So. That's right. <laughs> yes, I do have more steel going, but you can see I still have... a. 1603 of the big um bountiful chunks and jeez oh, so i have an 840 even, oh yeah. wow so i still have this is the first iron mine oh jeez what the heck where are these all coming from there's there's a uh, rift outside oh uh, mm. so yeah i'm still working on my first iron mine i i i, I got it all out of there but it's i'm still you know I'm throwing flax fiber at you. Still processing. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm still processing all of it. Um, just because I do that in chunks. Like I said earlier, I get super bored. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's spinning fast. Yeah. It purrs. Listen to that. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, it purrs. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so how fast does that pulverize something here let we can put in uh do you have yeah okay so i'm gonna put in a stack of granite stones i want to see how oh jeez <laughs> oh my god that's insanely fast <laughs> yeah i'm pretty happy i'm pretty proud of my pulverizer oh 
Oh, gee, many crickets! That is absolutely insane. That 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 stack is almost done. Yeah, it didn't take me very long to get my cementation bricks up. I'm gonna make some powdered cassiterite and do start doing some more serious dyes. You know. Yep. Um. So yeah. So I was I was actually thinking about doing some colored glass myself, and so like this pulverized uh, granite, you then run it through the quern and get. Right. Uh, get the powdered granite and that's a prime ingredient for the glass batches. Oh, nice. I haven't really worked on the glass batch, but in this, in this box, you can see the different clays that I have. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the malachite I actually found. Uh, so through the translocator over here, if you go uh, across the lake to the South, uh -huh. There's a lot of malachite over there. Yeah, there's a great big limestone desert, and yep, a yep. I've been down there. I've been down there quite a bit. I like that area a lot. You just have to get uh, through the polar bear country, <laughs> <laughs> which I have been running for my life in polar bear country before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'm having fun. I think maybe one of the rooms that I do, or maybe I'll go downstairs from here to do like a bricklayer's room where I can put the clay and the different frits and things like that. So that uh, would be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, no, I'm afraid to know how fast this goes. Oh, you're running two of them. Oh, that's it. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, it's it's kind glitchy sometimes i have been having a little bit of trouble with this and on camera too it's sometimes see like that well i turned it off oh you turned it off oh yeah Jeez. but i i could tell that it okay. was slowing down yeah it does it's had some glitches so i'm not sure what that's about but but you can see that it's it's going pretty fast and i have another set of oh, windmills yeah. that i'm going to put up, up up above there stack one more level and then that'll be good enough for me <laughs> Well, I mean, that's spinning faster than just a windmill by itself. So Oh yeah. That's that's insane. Well, I have well, it, I have it upgraded. You know, I have another big wheel up here. Yep. That wheel, that wheel is coming off of another wheel up here. To step Oops. it up one. Ah, I see. So that goes up to the windmills. This steps it up one down to that one. So that makes it even faster. That's insane. You're yeah. making me feel bad with my only four windmills. Oh no, 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 no. This, I just I'm gonna, I just was gonna like, go oh, over here oh, and God. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh yeah. I can't wait to see that because I've never seen anyone do it. Vintage uh, story. <laughs> crouch and go away. Mm, crouch and go away. Mm, so sad. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm proud of it. I'm really proud of it. I, I've watched a lot Please. of videos to try to... Um, I have this really dark spot over here that they're probably coming from. Um, I watched a lot of videos on the windmill setup so I could teach myself, you know, how this is supposed to work the best, you know, so Hey, get out yeah. They just keep coming. I know it's just it's just my base is getting too big and I need to light it up Or you could end up getting a lot of stones on the floor. Oh, no <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Hey, thanks so much for the trade. Um, the, yeah, the, no problem. The Resonance Archives are amazing, and now you have some steel. Yeah, this is this pretty cool. I can't wait to use some of this stuff. <laughs> good, good. Maybe, right. maybe get a slightly better sword. Yeah, I have my steel on. on. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not using it because two two hits will kill these guys. Um, the axe is just so much faster. So ever since the update, so I use it mostly. I don't know, um, but hey, the base is looking great. I love it. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, it's slow, slow but sure. 
This is going to be another. Maybe I'll just make this my color room. This might be yeah, a good color work. room. Yeah. I could. Ha I have lots of storage in here. I have lots of room for storage. I could make this my room up here to do the brick layer stuff. A little balcony so you can see out. Now I'm trying to figure out where is this rift? I can hear it. Oh, can you? Oh, yeah. I can't hear it. I'm wondering, it might be up. Hmm. Oh, whoa. Ah, uh, it's getting louder. Is it in my base? I had one in my barn not too long ago. I'm right next to it. Where is it? It's weird. Is it invisible? Oh, they're they're falling out of the trees in the mountain right there. Yeah, yeah I think it's above right there. there. I am just about dead because I don't have any armor. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't want to die. <laughs> or do I? I don't know. <laughs> it would get you home. <laughs> well, but all your stuff would be here and your steel. Be <laughs> stuck with me again. <laughs> yeah, I think I better just get going. Thanks, All right, Nathan. well, it was good talking to you, Hippie. Yeah, you too. Thanks for the trade. I appreciate it. Yep, have a good one. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, um, Hippie's been mining too long. She's she. My hands are off the computer. This is this. <laughs> she's been mining for too long she's exhausted so i'm gonna call it here guys after that really nice visit with nathan it's gonna round out a really nice video so um i really appreciate his visit it was really nice to talk to him he's um, repaying some shenanigans today and was on and i was able to watch some of that and do a very nice trade now we have four residence archives for our beautiful echo chamber and now we are going to be able to um have music whenever in there whenever we want so i really appreciate that nathan nathan thank you so much you guys thanks so much for joining me i will see you very very soon um please if you're on my channel for the first time subscribe and comment i love talking to you guys like my chat like my videos it really helps me and i'm really trying to grow my channel so thank you guys very much stay safe out there and i will see you soon i'm gonna get back to the chopping here while she's in motion